Hey, welcome back to Matt's Nightmares. And I am the guy, Matt. You might know me from this right now. And I am alone in the dark. Oh no, but hopefully not a no no. I've been seeing this has begun some pretty decent reviews. Ragnar Rocks seems to really like it, and he rocks. Uh, I have been actually pretty keen to try this out. I thought the little demo, uh, demo prequel thing was interesting, but it wasn't really a, a good indicator of what the main game would play like. And it seems like it's just a good old survival horror game. No more, no less. Well, I'm a standard boy we all know this modern or, or old school extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier for those who want to figure out everything for themselves no extra systems to guide the player i am modern so so yeah i, I have seen some also kind of mid reviews for this but i don't know i feel like you don't need to innovate every three seconds to still be a good game but that's just me that's just me and my and my crazy thought bubbles Ribbit. Oh yeah, six place in uh, Louisiana. You can see the mayor of Louisiana, right? There. <laughs> yeah, that, that's 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 a Louisiana dog right there. You have to be careful. This here's Rocky, and he ain't no puppy. Ooh, very reminiscent of um, Resident Evil uh, Seven. So your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. Hey, it's Hopper slash the Red Guardian. It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. This is Jody Comer, I believe. I'm not super familiar with her game. No, practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. You might want to look into that. This is, takes place in the 30s, I think. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. So maybe they don't really no take mental health seriously. Probably not. It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. All right, this is actually Edward Carnby. This is essentially a reboot. Reimagining something like that. But there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. That's depressing. Liking the vibe so far. Straightforward. We have to go stop a madman. Or help a madman. I don't know which. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? <laughs> I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Fair enough. I am a private dick. I have this hat. I have a gun, I assume. Did you bring a gun? Oh, here we go. Yeah. And I can have a gun, and I must have a gun. That's the rule of Chekhov's gun. Have a gun. Facial modeling seems pretty on point, I have to say. Oh, cool. Oh, I didn't even know you could take one or the other. Jodie Comer, yeah, Emily Hartwood. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna go ha go with Hellboy. Or Hellboy 2. Man, he was great in that Hellboy movie. That Hellboy movie's bad. I still haven't played that Hellboy game. The one Lance uh, Reddick oh. voiced? I gotta get to that. Oh, spooky mansion. I have a gun and this hat. You stay here. I'll go home. And this is a bad plan, by the way. You know what's going to happen. Ooh. All right, we're kicking off. I'm not afraid of the dark. As Well, I was at a point. I don't want to talk about it. But I'm not anymore. I'm a little less so. Okay. Basements are scary. Attics are scarier. Uh, it's a basement. Oh, I thought this was floating in midair for some reason. Well, kind of, sort of is. I like this Resident Evil 4 style HUD a little bit. I assume that's my health manner. What are you? Now, what do we got here? What do we have here? A flashlight. Or flashlights even a thing in the 30s? I don't even fucking know. I wasn't born then. I don't know what fucking shit people were up to back then. All right. It's very, very Leon RE4-esque. So, you know, I'll take it. Even if it's not historically accurate, who cares? But we're starting off good, literally alone in the dark. I'm assuming, uh, I, cause I thought, okay. I thought it was actually like two players at once or, or like two care one, like you have a helper character, like, or you switch between the two, kind of like, uh, uh, Resident Evil Zero. I guess not. What are you? Pistol bullets. Okay. I'm assuming we're gonna have to shoot something soon. Nice reload animation. Oh! Someone should put you in a box floating down the river, Grandma! I was gonna shoot that old lady, but it's just a harmless statue. I like how we're not starting off at night quite yet. We're... I'm not getting in there. No, we're not. It's a chain door. A gun can't defeat a chain. 
Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Like everything I know about this game's development and the team is like it's it's pretty much like a, a like that B level of budget and scope. I'd like to think, which is no bad thing. More of this, please. Really, was this a solarium, a planetarium? This is where all the evil plants are kept. I assume. Oh, fuck. oh, like that. Burn that immediately. There's no reason this is, should be alive. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. The hell is that? You hear this? Key. That's not good. Let's let's quicken pace, shall we? What is bumping around? Bumping and bumping the night. Cut to a bump in the night clip, please. Don't mind if I do. Here's Bumpy! <laughs> Where are we? Like, this is the massive basement. Was this a back kitchen? It's a really big basement. Ooh, bullets in the fridge. Keeps them cool. All right, what about here? Charming, charming. The best meat's in the rump. What are you? Rat poison. Don't pick this up. What was that? Lag neaps are non-essential items you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge. And sometimes even more. That's cool. Love me some forbidden knowledge. Alright, back to the basement, I guess. Can we get out of here? Your dungeon? Should I be concerned that this place has a dungeon? I think I should. Are we on the ground floor yet? Like, this is Spencer Estate-esque in terms of its girthiness. No, all right, fine, fair enough. And, like, some of these doors are not even unlockable. Like, that didn't even have... Uh, I can't get in. Uh, oh, charming, charming. Uh, no true reflections. There's a little bit there. There's something. Hate these toilets. Don't get me started. I don't know how many uh, innocent people those toilets have killed. This room can't be good. Oh, map. Oh, a very good map, actually. Oh, thank you for a Piazza key. Where does Piazza key go? Yeah, I just opened up the map. Go away, prompt. Thank you. I should have taken the classic style, right? I should have. Ugh, that wasn't the right one. I assumed it. Oh, never mind. Oh, this place. Oh, we're overlooking where we were earlier. <laughs> well placed bird will always get you. Always keep you on your toes. Oh. This looks like the main hall. That bear's so coming alive. Oh. Thanks. How long were you waiting out there, girl? What are you doing? Oh. Who are you? Ew. Oh, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Garner. <laughs> hey, he tries to raise her up. No one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. What the hell does that mean? Who Who's that foppish right? lady? She has that hot wood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. Yeah, I got the gloom. Really what of it? I got I tons of gloom. Sure my uncle is unavailable right now. Does that? What does that mean? Unavailable. Unavailable? How? Private investigator. Private dick. What is this place? It's like a boarding house. All right. In that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Yeah, I like this wait. guy. He knows what he wants. I'll tell Doctor Gray you're here. Who's that? A lot of things are introduced to us very quickly there. So, so we're just wandering into any room, right? That's our investigative style right now. Okay. See if we can dig up any clues. Ooh, clue digging up sections. So Jeremy's room for for clues. Be a snoop. Oh God. Slide puzzle. I'm not even gonna fucking no way, sir. And avoid that until the day I die. Commonplace. Book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Pirosi? Back from the beyond? Very nice, very nice performance. Legit. And that was well written as well. 
Always appreciate a good note. All right. Puzzle time. This is gonna be annoying. Wow, all right. Awesome, actually. Thank you, Alone in the Dark 2024. What the hell? Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. She's like, dude, stop finding clues, okay? I wonder how much this changes if you take Emily. Don't open that. If that's a painting, it's probably going to be bad. This is a bad move. This is, I do not recommend. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's bad. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> uh, stop looking. Stomp on it. Don't look at paintings. All right, good. She took it away. I want to go see Dr. Gray. That really screwed with him, and he only looked at it for, like, what, six seconds? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm coming. Sh shut up. Oh, God, my head. So, yeah, I wonder if you take her. Does she get spooked first? Miss Hartwood. Like, it just is reverse. Wait, what the hell? What happened? What the hell is going on? Where am I? What? We're like in New Orleans now? Cool. Well, the the demo did kind of have some sort of like location hopping stuff. Where you went from one area to the other. <gasps> oh, what are you? Doesn't matter. So anyway, I started blasting. Shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Do I not have a dodge? Do I not have a... Oh. oh. Did I get him? Cool, okay. Oh! They are not slow. Oh my god, do I not have a dodge? Oh, I do, I do. Never mind. Johnny the Conqueror. This is the store that we're supposed to investigate. It's the only place that had lights on. Oh, damn. Gonna let him get inside, combat. David Arbor, big guy, so this must be very large, man. Like Liam Neeson, Dark Man? That's sick. A pink I elephant. Take it now. Take it. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Or ghosts and goblins, go depending on the game. All right. Key is progress, so that's good. All right, let's let's go into the gloom. Very cool. I'm 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 liking this already. So when you go to like, but this seems like the normal world, or no, maybe not. I it's okay. It's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. Always go to where lights are in video games, kids. That's where the developers want you to go. Ooh, garbage bullets, rusty pipe, fantastic. Oh, 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 shit. Yeah. All right. I can't read that weapon tutorial right now. All right. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, just that thing with atta uh, attacking me, I didn't even... can not even comprehend what was written there. But yeah, okay, RB for for melee hits. And that, that pipe has to have damage. Like, that has to break away. What the hell is down there, though? It looks... It looks not so great. I'm just going to be throwing enemies to distract. That's what this is. Okay. Okay, but I'm locked in this position. I can't actually bring this with me. Hubba da hub. Okay, I barely heard anything there. I don't even know what that is. It's all flayed and shit. Not a fan. Oh, which way? Which way? Oh my god, it's so seeing me. It saw me. What the hell? Huh? Whoa. It's just like a mass of flesh. This whole uh, reborning thing didn't really work out for this guy. Bam! All right, through here maybe. Looks lo looks like the ticket. Garbage bullets, extra juicy. I feel like it's gonna get worse before it's gonna get better here. What th is this place? Garden bullets. Hmm. I can hear the monsters everywhere. I'm hearing them make throw gross throw up noises the whole nine yards. Oh. Oh shit. Uh, uh, uh. Last bullet too, or last in the chamber. It's just straightforward. It's just straightforward third-person shooting, which is just kind of refreshing, I guess. Oh, whoa! Uh. God damn it! Oh, it's gonna puke! It's gonna puke! Ew! What the? Don't it, it can't gross you out if you don't look at it. Remember that, kids. Nothing can gross you out if you don't look. Just don't look. Just don't look. All right, floor two. Let's do it. Whoa! Whoa! 
<laughs> These guys look like a uh, moss man, whatever in He-Man. I don't know. He was fuzzy. He's a weirdo. Okay. Or a bit like the molded. Ugh, I'm glad we're past that, that era of Resident Evil where like every villain was just like a, just a slime monster. Oh, this was like an important room. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Oh, I literally picked up Jeremy's talisman. It's the talisman. <laughs> don't mess with that shit, dude. Maybe don't touch it. No, don't touch an old talisman shaped over centuries. Screens and numbers look less than 100 years old, but they just could be from antiquity. The polished black sun's still in the middle. It's bad. Throw this out. Mail, mail it to another country. Okay, let's just slide that bad boy in there. Oh, God. Concentric circles. I don't understand this shit. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. There better be, because I don't know what I'm doing. Jeremy's notes. I need the notes of a madman. Notes of a madman looking for... Talisman. Uh, oh, that was actually easy. It's 3352. 523. Yeah, 358. Magic number. Where Focus. I don't know. Looks like a train set. I d what? Huh. I guess it's loading something. Creepy door just opened somewhere. Well, yeah. that That's creepy door, all right. Is this going to bring us back to the mansion? E Detective. Sir, I've been talking to you for over an hour. Are you listening? I understand you are working for Jeremy Hotwood's niece. I'm hardly yeah, working, actually. I guess so, I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just eh. didn't expect. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Business. Let's trust this guy. He seems on the level. Now, what can I do for you? Yeah, where was I just What's now? A drink, Detective? Yes, please. I mean, brand. sure. Armagnac or cognac? I don't understand the difference. Yeah, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Mm. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. Here. I want him to drink this, and he's like... <coughs> <coughs> Smooth. What like I was holding his glass. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. Mm, aren't we all? Is any of this helpful to you? Not uh, really. Uh, not really. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping for so I guess I'm this really is just crazy. like a uh, mental uh, health uh, hospital. Uh, just set up in this big mansion. Safe returns. Because I, I, I kind of thought it was like a mansion that was owned by uh, Jeremy Hartwood. Chapter 2. Let's do it. Loving the soundtrack. Any soundtrack that's just the snapping of fingers slowly... As you can count on that any day of the week. Get the it's hell out of there. Oh. How did you... you scared me. You disappeared. No, I didn't. No. You did. It's... Should I be worried, detective? I'm paying you 150 smack of rooties. I love how invested he is already. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Yeah, talk to him. He's a blast. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm so losing it. All right, find the astronomical clock, back turn back time, Jeremy, somehow so avoid easy. sleeping with my own grandma. This is going to be tough. If he can do it, so can I. <laughs> I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Oh, man. Okay, how about this door next? Ugh, another fancy room. Bed in the center. What are you, crazy? Well, maybe. I must return. I well, now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. What? I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. The hateful mound outside of the oil rig is one of the more ominous things I've ever seen. Or star constellations. Oh, jeez, I need Crementina to help me with these. Oh, I don't know what the fuck they mean. Omega? Kenny Omega? I don't... <laughs> Alright, I couldn't figure that out, but maybe we could figure out this painting shit. Weird mold? No, complete the shape with the rot on the paintings. That's gross. Hmm. Did that work? What did that tell me? What's this now? With all these turbo nerds. If they're so smart, how come they're dead? Hey, you're right, stupid science bitch. Couldn't even stay alive. All right, there's another journal here with a star sign chart. I guess we gotta ch trans translate. I'm in way over my head here. And uh, 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 no, damn it. Kenny Omega, the uh, Triple H logo. No, oh, yeah, I nailed it with the power of my brain. Sure, I'll take it. All right, let's get to it. Oh, God, no. 
No. Ah, why is it gotta be like this? Huh. <laughs> Ew. They're like little, what are they? I don't even know. Huh. What was that? What? They're like little baby graboids. There should be a movie where it's called, where it's graboids versus langoliers. Oh. Jesus. Uh. Whoa, whoa. Uh, stupid astronomical clock, get out of my face. <gasps> All right, I, I, I got to end that here for Alone in the Dark. Uh, I have a few more things I need to record today. But that was that was a very exciting first, like, an hour, an hour and, like, ten minutes? That was very solid. So uh, do let me know what you think in the comments and if you'd like to see more. That was certainly better than Alone in the Dark that's only multiplayer or you have to blink constantly. So that, that bodes well. Um, until then, I'll see you guys next time in Matt's Nightmares.